Rarely has there been a more serious threat to those of us who manage deer. It's a threat that could very well impact on your ability to continue to stalk in Scotland and perhaps in time in England. The threat comes from the Scottish Government, which is entertaining proposals made by its deer working group to implement a register of competent stalkers, which politicians take to mean mandatory qualifications to be able to stalk deer in Scotland. A Nature Scott consultation launched on the 5th of January 2024 and which ends on the 29th of March is considering proposals to enshrine in law the requirement that everyone shooting deer unaccompanied in Scotland has the same basic level of training akin to that of a deer stalking certificate level one. What's more, they propose that all deer stalkers should be registered and must regularly renew evidence for their registration to remain valid. They ignore the existing system of recreational stalking with voluntary courses, which works well. Now we provide deer stalker training. You might think we would support these changes. We do not. We're appalled at the proposals and here's why. Firstly, there are thousands of competent deer stalkers who safely and effectively manage deer in Scotland and elsewhere who do not have a management qualification. Many have done so their whole lives. If the Scottish Government proposals become law, it will become mandatory that those individuals be required to attend and complete a course at great personal expense and inconvenience. And it's unnecessary. I'm sure you know people, many of whom are highly experienced deer managers who have not completed a deer stalking course. We don't believe that these individuals should be required to complete a course just so that they can carry on doing what they're already doing perfectly well. Secondly, we believe in consumer choice and fair competition, including in the delivery of deer stalker training. Picture this, to manage deer in Scotland, the requirement to have a deer stalking certificate becomes enshrined in law. There are just one or two providers of training. The result is huge demand on training providers, resulting in spiraling costs and time delays, but with the consumer having no alternative but to fork out. Finally, by insisting on mandatory training, the Scottish Government runs the risk of implementing policy that is counterproductive. Countless deer managers who are currently responsible for controlling deer numbers stand to be lost if mandatory training becomes compulsory. This doesn't affect me. I've got the necessary qualifications and as a training provider, I only stand to gain. It's a question of personal freedom and I don't want to see the renewing and updating of qualifications to stalk in Scotland enshrined in law. Some training providers, such as the British Deer Society, support these proposals. We do not. And others, such as Basque, are already moving toward registration in their recently announced register of deer stalkers, which looks very much like it seeks to exclude everyone without a DSC1 and DSC2. These are dangerous times for thousands of deer stalkers up and down the UK who stand the risk of being excluded from managing deer. We do not support mandatory qualifications and that is because we believe that training should be advisable, not mandatory. We do not because we want to see healthy herds of deer across the UK managed by people who live near them and care about them, not by tick box bureaucrats in distant cities who will have to spend public money on the wholesale slaughter of deer because they got rid of the local interest in the animals. The current system, well, it ain't broke. We're appalled by these proposed amendments and also concerned about other proposals, which include the use of shotguns to shoot deer, a relaxation on the closed season to shoot females, and greater powers to carry out mandatory culls on private land. We urge you to respond to the consultation. The proposals can be found in the Scottish Government's Managing Deer for Climate and Nature consultation dated the 5th of January 2024 under theme 3, 
deer welfare. Recommendations 13 and 15, fit and competent. Respond before it's too late. You can find a link to the consultation below. Thanks for watching.